You have learned your lesson. Many times you make stupid mistakes in relationships. Some mistakes are entirely your fault, and some are not your fault. Some mistakes could have easily been avoided, but you fall into the trap anyway. There is no way you could have learned if God did not let you go ahead and love the wrong person. You need to experience it. If not, you would always blame yourself for not trying. If you experience it yourself, then you can be sure that it is not for you. God will never force you to live in a particular way or to love a particular person. God is just there to guide you and it is ultimately left for you to decide if you want to follow God's will or not. Sometimes you fall in love for the wrong reasons. Reasons that are not biblical that God is totally against but God will let that love happen anyway. If God wants to destroy that union, He can do that even before the union starts but God would rather let you learn your lesson from that mistake you are about to make. You go into a relationship because the other person looks good. You do not care about their character towards you and if they love you or not. You just want to have a beautiful partner and that is your major priority in the relationship. Just so you can take beautiful pictures to post on social media and make the world jealous of you and your partner. These partners you want to be showing off might have the worst behavior you could ever think of, but you do not care. As long as their attitude is not visible by the camera and cannot be shown in pictures, you are good with it. You will reap what you sow because when they start displaying their foul attitude to you, it is only you that gets to deal with that. The people cheering you on in the comments section of your social media will not be there to save you. There are so many things that could result from being together with someone that their attitude is not right. They could be treating you like trash and cheating on you with any slight chance they get to do so. Even worse, your partner could be an abuser. They could be beating you whenever they are angry at you and this could lead to trauma and even death if you are not careful. When you have witnessed this kind of behavior, you learn to always assess the behaviors of the person you want to be in a relationship with rather than just going for the looks. God is watching and even though He does not want any harm to come to you, He still wants you to learn your lesson so that you would not make that mistake again. It could also be that you went into the relationship because of material things, not minding the attitude of your partner. Your partner might be nice to you now that everything is going fine, but any financial turnaround happens and they do not have the money to shower on you anymore. You might be at the receiving end of transferred aggression. At least you would learn to get your priorities right when you are choosing a life partner. When you have learned your lesson, looks and money aren't a priority for you anymore. Then this is a sign God lets you love the wrong person for a reason. Number 2. Your new relationship is going fine. After you have had so many relationships with different kinds of people that are wrong for you, you learn to appreciate the things that are right for you. The truth is that most people do not even understand what they want from their partner yet. You might get into a relationship and the things you think you love are things that would turn you off and the things you think you do not like are the things that would be of importance to you. You need to experience these things firsthand to see if they would give you the euphoria you have always imagined that they would. You go into a relationship thinking that this person is the perfect person for you because they have what you have always dreamed about, only for you to realize that this thing you have always dreamt about does not mean much to you. When you try this relationship, you start looking for ways to go out of the relationship because it is not what you bargained for. Of course, God will let these relationships happen because if He doesn't, you might keep regretting that you did not get what you wanted from a relationship. You will feel like you knew what you wanted and you never got what you wanted, so God would sometimes send what you wanted to you just to show you that this is not what you need. You will see this yourself and when God finally sends a partner with what you need to you, you will appreciate it more. Most times you do not know what you need, but God knows it all. God would give you that, but only after He has shown you that this is exactly what you need. When your new relationship is going so well, and you know that this is what you needed all along, 
This is a sign that God allowed you to enter those wrong relationships just to teach you what you needed from your partner so that you would not be carrying a wrong mindset around and you would learn to appreciate the right one. Number 3. You Gain Valuable Experience Experience is the best teacher and there is no other way to let you learn than through experience. If God had sat you down and told you many things about a person that you should not be in a relationship with, you could doubt it. God let you go into these relationships to gather a lot of experiences that would be useful for you during your relationship with the actual right person. These experiences are part of God preparing you for a relationship. God wants you to gain valuable experience as this is part of His preparation before He sends the perfect person to you. This will toughen you up and you are less likely to fall victim to emotional manipulators. Your experiences will shape you and make you a better person in all aspects. God will bring the perfect person into your life to teach you these lessons. You need this experience to be able to handle your relationship. Experience is very important and you would only learn by being in a different relationship. God knows what He is doing and very soon you would understand too. When these experiences start working for you, you would know why God had to let you go through falling in love with the wrong person. These experiences will teach you so many things you need to know about yourself and relationships and this is one knowledge you need to make any relationship work. You would need to know what you love and what you do not love in a relationship. You would need to be fully aware of yourself and know things that your emotions. If you have never been in a relationship before, it might be difficult to know these things and you might fall into the wrong hands. So, being in a relationship that didn't work out is not all that bad. Just make sure you gather enough experience to be able to make your relationship with the perfect person a smooth one because that is God preparing you for the perfect person. Number 4. You now pray to God on your relationship life. Sometimes you rush into relationships without praying to God about it. God might just be watching you knowing that this person is not the right person for you, but He would never stop the relationship from happening because you do not feel the need to inform Him in the first place. God knows the perfect person for you already and He might even be ready to introduce the person to you, but since you feel you can do this on your own, God will let you make your mistake. After you have gone into the relationship without God's consent, it is hard to call on God to save your relationship when things are not going well and this is when you realize your mistake. God would always be there for you though. Just call on God and He would be there for you. God just wanted to teach you that you should always involve Him in all you do. Once you find yourself now always praying to God about the right person before going into a relationship with a particular person, then you can be sure that God made you be with the wrong person just to teach you a lesson. Learn these lessons as they are simply meant to build you and make you a better person for the perfect person to come your way. God always knows what He is doing and this is no different. God is simply shaping you up so that you could have a comfortable love life ahead. He knows exactly what you need and He would provide just that for you.